Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Um, I thought I'd make this uh, new video uh, on sort of the technology uh, in my car. Uh, I get excited about all sorts of technology and uh, and um, the sort of stuff I have, even though this is um, you know fairly oldish car, uh, the amount of technology in it uh, is uh, mind-blowing. Um, so I just thought I'd go through a few things with you. Um, so yeah, firstly, uh, it's a it's a, a Toyota a Toyota Prius or Prius as you want to call it, um, and it's an absolutely brilliant car. It's the old shape. Uh, it's a 2008 model, a late 2008 model. Um, it's the T Spirit, so it's got pretty much all the bells and whistles uh, in it. As you can tell from the steering wheel, uh, you can practically control um, most of the system uh, through the uh, steering wheel so let's go through that one by one um, so first of all uh, right here you've got the uh, navigation uh, so you've got uh, the sat nav navigation you can control from here the information to be controlled from here then you've got your bluetooth uh, connection kit so you can control your uh, phone calls from these three buttons uh, you've got voice activator dialing as well uh, then you've got your air conditioning controls on this side uh, so you've got um, your front and rear heated windscreens uh, also air conditioning on this side you've got automatic air conditioning temperature control then you've got your audio controls on this side you've got the mode uh, for FM, AM, disc, auxiliary uh, etc uh, track up and down and volume controls there also you've got uh, adaptive cruise control on the right hand side stalk uh, you've got all sorts of wiper controls on there and all sorts of uh, light controls on here uh, this little stick here is uh, it's an automatic gearbox it's a CVT uh, continuous variable transmission and that's uh, the gear stick uh, the gear lever um, I'll just run through that with you because it's got pretty much normal stuff so you've got reverse neutral and drive but you've got B that st stands for engine braking so when you activate that uh, the car actually starts braking itself um, uses the engine braking system rather um, so it starts shifting down uh, without you having to do anything uh, and the car slows down without the use of brakes uh, that also makes use of the um, <coughs> uh, the battery recharging system which starts recharging the battery uh, through the engine braking uh, on the left hand side of that are all the audio controls um, one thing I really like about the car is that um, the the audio system is quite mind-blowing um, it's got a JBL uh, premium audio system and the sound is absolutely mind-blowing it's it, it really is very good uh, then um, the other thing that I really like about the audio system is that uh, it's got a 6 CD changer but uh, unlike the BMWs or uh, most cars um, you don't actually have to feed the 6 discs in the boot or anywhere else separately you literally uh, one after the other put your discs uh, your CDs into this slot here and uh, they just load up and the light um, will tell you how many slots you have filled in so in this case I only have one CD in there um, as usual we can play mp3 in all sorts of different formats uh, so I don't really need more than one disc in there because again I've also got uh, auxiliary which I'll show you in a minute uh, the auxiliary connection for the car the cable is right here and that connection I believe is somewhere down there so that's inside the center console uh, which is pretty amazing then you've got plenty of cup holders um, the one thing that uh, they haven't left you without is cup holders there's absolutely amazing amount of cup holders in there right so moving on next thing is the LCD touchscreen um, that's pretty 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 cool really because uh, I find it uh, like it's, um, it's it's pretty much like a um, a uh, an Airbus or, or a 747 um, you know Boeing aircraft um, touchscreen because you've got so many different things uh, that can all be controlled via this one center console touchscreen um, so you've got your climate control that you control from there and as I say 
it's all touch screen, uh, your temperature as well, or you can use your steering wheel um, buttons to change temperatures up and down. Um, so you've got your climate, you've got your audio system, I've got it turned off, if I turn it on, you've got your radio, um, you can change it to auxiliary, CD, etc, etc. Um, again, most of the stuff in the audio as well is touch screen. Um, then you've got your uh, navigation system, so you've got your voice activated, um, I haven't got the DVD inserted in there, um, so all your navigation. Um, then you've got the display, the main display of the screen, um, let me show you that. It's constantly, I, I constantly keep it on the energy monitor because that shows you what's going on. Uh, like right now the engine's actually charging the battery uh, and and the engine's actually heating because I've got the heating on. Um, it's uh, being used for charging the battery and the heating. Um, then you've got, um, if I press info again, you've got all your trip information, your maintenance, everything again, touch screen, it can go through all, it gives you different dates for what's due when. Um, you know, and when it was last checked, which is pretty cool. Um, you got all your screen settings, your telephone settings. You've even got a calendar, um, trip information. Um, now, while you are on the energy monitor, you can actually click on the consumption and go into your consumption. Uh, it will show you your current consumption over here, and it will show you at five minute intervals. So in the last 30 minute, it shows you your consumption. As you can see, it's pretty bad there. I've just been to the car wash, and, and because it's cold, um, it doesn't give you a good uh, consumption. But on average, I probably get about 60 miles to the gallon in the winter, uh, which is pretty, pretty awesome, really. Uh, and then you've just got your digital uh, speedometer, uh, your fuel gauge, uh, etc., uh, which, again, is pretty cool. Uh, some people dislike it because it's so far away from where you're sitting but I absolutely love it because I think it don't need to take your eyes off the road uh, to see it um, so you know just normal driving conditions you're looking out and yet you'll know what speed you're doing it's pretty much like a you know head-up display a hut um, again a very cool feature really um, the other one thing that uh, I haven't been able to show you is there are a couple of switches there, as you can see. This one is just for electric vehicles. If I turn that on, um, you get a light on there which says EV. And in that mode, you can drive for up to about uh, three miles uh, with the battery, but the battery needs to be fully charged. Um, that will give you about three miles without turning the engine on, uh, which is again pretty awesome. The other light you've got here, it's for your parking mode. So, that's a um, assisted parking, I think it's called, or park assist, as it's called, yeah. Um, so, if I go into reverse gear, uh, we get the reverse camera on there. Um, you can choose different sorts of parking, uh, different types of parking, and once you click on what, how exactly you want the car to be parked, um, you need to release the parking brake, which is on the foot there, release the parking brake, you have to... Uh, make adjustments and the car actually starts parking itself um, which again is pretty cool it does take, take a lot of getting used to uh, because it's pretty freaky uh, but it is really really cool um, stop that noise there so yeah uh, I think um, I've pretty much covered everything um, really uh, in the car and like I said it's just it's just a really really awesome car um, I love the technology in it. Um, it's a very, very smooth ride, especially after driving a BMW for about five years. Um, so if you're thinking of getting a Prius or Prius, whatever you want to call it, uh, definitely go for it. Um, I, I definitely do recommend it. Uh, that's about it for today. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a brilliant Sunday. Bye.